Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I'm going to talk about the E La Serena scale. This is a scale that has a lot of movement, uh, has a lot of chordal potential, and it's one of the ones that I think leads you more towards percussive playing. Unlike some of the slower meditative scales, this one almost pulls you into movement and sort of that percussive realm of approaching it. So I'm going to take a look at the notes and then get a sound example and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. And here's the scale, starting with E in the center. actually includes two bottom notes, uh, so you could add these into the top half or... Do something on the bottom with them as well. With the bottom notes in it, it is... So this is quite a large scale. Uh, it could be daunting for first-time players, but it also has a lot of potential. And it does repeat as you move up it, as most handpan scales do. So it's not as if you're, you're stuck with a chromatic scale as a new player. So let's take a look at some of the dyads as well. Here is a song example on this scale. So one of the things to note about scales that have mutant tops is that these notes are often a reflection of the bottom. Um, so this note, that's an octave note, and this note as well. So the fourth note and the fifth note are octaves with the mutant notes up here. This allows you to do interesting things because instead of having to twist your hand like this to get a dyad, you're able to just play. If you want to do a triad, it's much easier to play a triad because then you can use this hand or this hand. So this particular scale offers a ton of chordal potential. Um, depending on where you're rooting yourself, you're going to hear um, a variety of different styles on it. Um, also, having that top half available allows you to do sort of faster chordal work, something like this. Thank you. 
that style is just making use of what we have available on the top of the instrument. So here's another percussive example on this. So this scale is special for a couple different reasons. I really feel like unlike something like the F Pygmy or even the B Celtic sometimes, this is not for slow playing. And that's for two reasons. One, because it kind of has a harmonic minor feel to it. And that's something that, unless there's a lot of sustain, it doesn't feel the same to go slow on a La Serena versus something that has more of a pentatonic feeling to it. Uh, this scale again is amazing for composers. It's perfect for people who want to have a lot of movement and percussion in their playing And it's just super unique. Uh, I've never played a scale that's quite like this one So it's it's a good challenge to approach this and find how my style of playing fits into approaching it um, There's a lot of great players that have also played this scale So I feel like it's one that's very special and very unique and if you connect with it, you're gonna love working with it so Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, look for more videos with this amazing scale. And if you haven't seen it already, try the RAV custom order feature. And this allows you to create your own scales uh, within the parameters they put on there. This one is a custom scale, has three bottom notes. Uh, and it's amazing, I love this scale. So enjoy guys and happy playing. I'll see you soon.